What's up, dudes and dudes in the air? Now, my name's Seth, and we are back. Give it another trove. Do 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 do. Wrecked by clickbait. No, don't worry, folks. Today is the day. It's finally here where I'm gonna actually show you everything that I have in storage. Even yourself. Oh no, seriously? Now, don't make this think that you're gonna be able to beg me for a million zillion items because that's the biggest reason why I've stayed away from showing stuff in my personal chest. So I wanna give you a little bit of a heads up with all of that, kinda of explain my reasoning why in a little bit more detail, but that's pretty much it. And then otherwise, yeah, I'm gonna show you every single item that I actually have in the game. And then you can finally see how poor I am. <laughs> so before we get started, thank you to Trolling Legend. We're gonna be giving away a pair of ladybug wings and a beautiful tank turtle. Not too many prizes, but because the quality of the prizes is very, very good, isn't it? So besides supporting the videos just in general, in order to win the prizes, I would very much appreciate if you would hit that like button, be subscribed to the channel, leave a comment in the comment section down below with your username. I'm transforming. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to actually just record myself being a crazy person on camera. Like seriously, folks, we've come a long way from the first crazy episodes where, you know, I, you know, I was kind of good at commentating, a little bit awkward with how I presented myself, and now, I mean, y you've all just been so kind and so supportive over the years that it's just, it's just melts my heart, man. It's absolutely insane. So, the biggest reason, of course, that I avoided showing my personal chest is, one, hacking. I don't want people to hack my account because they see all the goodies that I got, but people still try to hack my account anyways because every now and then I get email notifications saying, hey, somebody tried to access your account from another computer. Did Was this you? Was this actually you? Nope, it wasn't. Now, here's another side thing too, folks, is unfortunately, this game doesn't really have that much in terms of security. Try and World's games don't really have that much in terms of security. You can get the Try and World app on your phone that tries to copy the Blizzard app, but it's gross man like seriously it sucks it locks you out of your account and it's just read the reviews that's all i'm saying so i've stayed away from that and because of it i just kind of have it going through uh my main mailing account and of course if anything ended up going wrong i'm sure that they could backpedal my account thank goodness don't know if they would end up doing that for other people but uh the other reason of course like i mentioned the most obvious one is because I obviously get lots and lots of people asking me for free stuff and it's not that i don't want to give away free items or anything like that. Actually, off camera, I've been giving away tons and tons of Stellars, but it's mostly because I don't like when people just come around asking for items and, you know, it's like, it's like that's all they're there for, you know? And that's that's not really, that's not a fan to me. And because of that, that's not someone that I view as deserving of actually getting something. Like you gotta be able to earn it, you know? and either by just being a fan for a long enough time and, you know, just needing some help because I, I keep track of as many people as I can. And I'm going to go on a little bit of a rant here. Don't worry. I know you see that chest back there. Don't worry. Uh, but needless to say, yeah, I, I, I pretty much try to keep track of everybody that I can. And because of it, you'd be surprised. Like, that's why we have the officers and, you know, all the people that end up doing really good in the community and kind of sticking around for a long enough time you get notice. Don't worry, you do get notice. So what we're going to be doing here at the giveaway club, these are the two chests that have giveaway prizes. These bad boys are all in rotation right now. These are prizes that people haven't come on to claim. Now, unfortunately, a lot of the people that uh, haven't claimed these prizes, you know, they've quit the game. <laughs> or they've uh, done something really, really bad and gotten on my ignore list, in which case, get wrecked. So, I don't know what's gonna happen with these prizes. Uh, uh, I've tried to kind of like, maybe wait for a certain period of time before I end up refreshing them all, but that of course is extremely time consuming because it means I have to keep track of each individual prize and when they went into the prize pool. But that might end up happening. Uh, I might end up having to purge some of the old prizes and put them back into rotation because unfortunately Trove doesn't have a proper mailing system, which makes it very, very difficult for me to actually give all this stuff out. Now, here's another thing too, to all those people that have been giving me all the stellar items and stuff like that, don't worry, you are gonna get your shout out sometime soon. But as you can see, when it comes to gear, it doesn't stack. So that's very important to me 
as far as a giveaway prize because otherwise I'm gonna be full. These chests are gonna be full in no problem. So it's great that these vault clubs exist for somebody like myself because otherwise, you know, my second inventory slot, I usually have this just for storage and stuff. Oh, ignore the patron and all that. Uh, and if you're wondering why, uh, the, the reason that I have so many of these souls and stuff like that is these were actually combined souls from myself and Nintendo Gamer because we pool our flux together and Penta prices suck right now, so we're waiting uh, until they ever go up, which they probably never will. And then this last page, most of this has actually got to do with uh, Lord Sithis, because when he ended up quitting the game, even though he still signs in every now and then, he gave me tons and tons of his resources. I ended up selling a bunch of them and kept like the important ones, or at least the ones that I felt are important. These ones are kind of going down as I'm building stuff. Uh, and then the Shadow Phones is a streamer item, which I don't get them that much anymore. Uh, I did talk to the devs about signing me up with their uh, creative program, so it'll happen eventually. And then these are extra prizes that I don't have space for in my personal chest. And then an inventory expander, if there's ever a day that I'll need it, because it's a good idea to save everything now. Bum, 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 bum. I've never shown my personal chest, ever. I've maybe shown my first page, but I've never shown the items that are in my personal chest that you're all about to see. So this is, this is the real secret here, folks. Bang! So here's my first page. Of course, this is where I have all the things that I need like right away. I need to get my hands on all these things. So all the pinata stuff relating to the recent event, I just throw it in here really, really right away. Uh, and then most of this stuff is kind of just special items, club card in case I ever need a club because it beats spending another 60K. This bone cutter mount, not for a giveaway. I have to sell that. Uh, and then this is my laser mancy ring if I'm ever like digging and stuff. Uh, the Phantom Tars, of course, are untradeable, unfortunately. I have a bunch of big bombs that I never use normally. I would store my actual bombs in there, but now I just keep them on hand in general. Save all my Empower Boxes, save all my Trove of Wonders, save all my daily loot chests for unboxing videos. This is all I have as far as Dragonite, uh, because I didn't end up buying this stupid pack right here, the Dragonite pack. I might eventually buy it, but for right now, honestly speaking, it's just rip-off, so I don't really care. Uh, and then I have a whole bunch of Hearts of Darkness. Those are not giveaway prizes. Those are saved, because you know that they're going to end up adding more stuff in the future that eventually is going to cost that. Dragon Coin, self-explanatory, and then all my Shadow keys, which, I mean, you can see how much I grind in normal uber worlds. And then page number two, this is, this is the, the, the page that has everything that I'm giving away in the videos. Okay? So prepare yourselves, all right? Keep in mind, I don't sell giveaway items. I, I don't think I could ever justify doing something like that. Boop! So here's all the items that people have given me throughout the years. Read it and read it and weep. I, I think I calculated it once a while back, uh, back when I actually had a lot more prizes. Because that's the thing too, folks, is I have to prepare for long term. Because I'm going to be playing Troll for a million zillion years, and unfortunately, this game is dying. So you have to consider that. Because as far as the prizes that I end up getting, I don't really get that many fancy prizes anymore. Because any of the players that are actually super duper rich in this game have either moved on or are just you know, they don't really care or they're not a fan. So got to keep all of that stuff in mind as far as the prize pool is concerned. Now, a lot of this stuff is just given to me by, you know, random people and a lot of the uh, smaller mounts and stuff like that. I'll show you that in a minute. But yeah, I, I pretty much give all of these away and I don't sell any of them for myself. Otherwise, yeah, I could probably make quite a bit of flux. I think I calculated it once a long time ago, not necessarily with these prizes, plus the uh, prices fluctuate. But I think I had a total of 15 million flux or something like that in prizes. So that's not too bad. And now on my third page, here's where I have all the extra stellars and radiance that I find. And some of them, of course, that people give me, as well as my gems and then a couple more giveaway prizes that uh, I don't have any space for on that second tab. Please, devs, just add this up to 10. Like, seriously, I'll pay for it. I don't care. I need it. <laughs> Lots of people do. Uh, and then I got all my uh, gem booster items down here, which you can see I don't really have that many. I'm going to be using this luck cat in no time. And then on my fourth page, this is just a backup of pretty much a full stack of almost every resource. I could probably get rid of the shape stone and form a site for the extra space. Honestly, I don't really need it. And then just the bum uh, items like, you know, uh, Diggsley's, Prefect Penguin, uh, 
Pemblocks, Meowns, Shmeep, and regular Centaurs. If you're wondering, folks, yeah, uh, pretty much these guys, you can give them to me for a giveaway, but it's going to be a very, very long time before I actually give them away because I'm kind of a hoarder like that. And these are kind of like my babies. Like, I'm just collecting them just because... I don't know, just because I want to, right? <laughs> and then we got Twinkling Tomes, which I can use to uh, set up gear for whenever they make a new class. I can get uh, a stellar set of gear down to level one so he can use it right away. And then, of course, just the other untradeable stuff. And then just a whole bunch of recipes, just in case they ever end up adding them. I'm pretty low on the Shadows Eve ones, obviously. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it, everybody. That's that's all my storage. Now you know everything that I have, and I know tons of people are going to start asking me for stuff, and that's not how we roll. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. Most of that stuff, of course, is thanks to all of you, uh, at least all the impressive stuff anyways. But as for my own personal gain, it's pretty much just this front page here, and... Uh, that's that's pretty much it i guess then there's just the resources but otherwise that's all i really have you know because anything else that i end up uh finding on my own like mounts and stuff like that usually i'll check the price if they're like 40k plus something that i just unbox usually i'll sell it just to get some flux for my patron but then otherwise i just throw it in the giveaway pile so thanks so much for watching folks very much appreciate it and stay up early.